special report. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Kana Whitworth, and we are coming on the air right now because ABC News has just learned that legendary actor James Earl Jones has died. He's an actor many of you are familiar with. He was known for his powerful roles, both on stage and on film. He was defined by his booming voice, the voice of Darth Vader in the Star Wars franchise, his unforgettable role in the Field of Dreams, the voice of Mufasa in The Lion King, the winner of two Tony Awards, and the commanding performance that he had, certainly in any role. I want to bring in ABC News' Chris Connolly for more on this. And Chris, again, we're talking about his legendary performances here. One that really stands out to me, of course, as well, is The Sandlot. Well, Kana, you really hit the nose right on the head. I mean, I think he's a figure, James Earl Jones is a figure of towering significance in the history of American movie making and on the stage as well. I mean, he was an actor of just unmatched power and authority. Not just his voice that you alluded to that we heard in films like The Lion King and, of course, as Darth Vader in the Star Wars movies, but in his bearing as well, in the way he commanded the stage. Uh, I remember seeing him in a, a, a Broadway show that kind of transformed his career, I guess, when he started The Great White Hope in 1968 and won his first Tony Award for that and went on to play that role on screen as well. But you think of him in some of the finest uh, stage performances of his time and things like Othello and Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, but so many wonderful movies as well, things like Sneakers and and Nate Wan. So it's a phenomenal loss for the American cinema and a voice and an actor who will always be remembered. Always be remembered, and he was one that starred in movies that we studied in college as well, like Dr. Strangelove, and uh, we're getting word in from his agent as well that he was widely regarded as one of the greatest stage and screen actors, both in his native USA and internationally as well. James Earl Jones was just 93 years old. Chris Connolly, thank you for being here with us. We now return you to your regularly scheduled programming. Our coverage continues right here on ABC News Live. 